YouTube, Mr. Rampro here again, and we've got another Kershaw knife review. This is the Kershaw Scallion, also designed by uh, Ken Onion, and as far as, you know, what they say anyways. And it's uh, model 1620 Charlie, I guess is this model here. So, let's go ahead and start this review. Your blade is two and a quarter inches long, so not too big of a blade, but good enough for a small EDC blade to kind of get the job done. Um, let's see, and you have a three and a half inch closed length, so that's pretty cool. This one here is done in the Real Tree Hardwoods uh, HD camo pattern, so that's pretty cool. It's actually my son's pocket knife, and this is what he uses quite a bit, and in case you're noticing, the tip is broken. The tip is broken when uh, he made one of the cutting videos. I think it's the Kershaw Scallion cut test, the one with the paint stick. One of those videos on there. And the next day, he noticed that the tip was kind of cracked and it fell right off. I mean, I'm not 100% if he said he dropped it or what after that. But I know that making that video, I think it, it kind of brittled the tip up a little bit. But uh, we just put it on the grinder and kind of made it a little bit of a Tonto blade. Not too much, but we pretty much matched the sharpening. You know, it's it's definitely, the tip's still definitely sharp, but just so the whole knife's not scratched, you know, or scrapped, sorry, um, we did exactly that, so that's pretty cool. We did add uh, jimping on the back of the blade all the way down, because it being such a small blade, you can choke up on it pretty good, so added jimping all the way down. This one's kind of in a uh, crisscross design. I don't know if you can see that or not. Pretty cool. I was pretty proud of him for that. That's a good job. Yeah, we did not add jimping to any one of the liners. We have not taken this knife apart yet and uh, cleaned it or anything like that. This is his, and that's his decision, I guess. Um, you do have your lock. I think I missed this on my leak video, but you have a lock down here on the bottom. And anyways, it's pretty cool. Um, now, I don't think it's actually, yeah, it's not even effective now with the tip gone. But it's still there if you need it. Pocket clip is pretty decent. Um, rides pretty good in your pants as far as this stuff goes. I have taken it from him a couple of times and uh, used it. I just find that it's honestly too small for what I like to carry. Um, maybe if I was going to church or doing something in dress clothes, I might not have a problem carrying a blade this small, but um, it rides. It looks like it rides pretty deep as far as when he has it and he hasn't dropped it or anything and lost it too many times. So um, it looks like it's doing pretty good so far, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, it does have the flipper open and a thumb stud. The thumb stud is operational. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it still works. And I think the flipper is the coolest part about it anyways. So that's pretty neat. Nice and fast little blade too. This is pretty cool. Um, let's see, this is uh, 2.3 ounces. And I brought that up this time because at 2.4, you can get a Kershaw leak. So... Um, you can. All, I'm sure there's plenty other knives right around the same weight. I mean, your Flash uh, One and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of them that are right around the same. Your Twitch, all that stuff, right around the same weight, if not a lot lighter than this. But just in the Kershaw line right here and the older brother, you can go ahead and carry it in the aluminum handle for just about the same weight. I mean, the handle's a little bit thicker here. I'll hold them side by side so you can see them. You can see your Scallion handle is a little bit thicker. And you've got kind of a stockier blade, too. So, yeah, directly, uh, it looks like this blade would be smaller. But, you know, realistically, the thin profile and all that stuff makes your Kershaw Leaks blade a little smaller. So, and you have this, you do have a cool cut and belly down here on this knife with that little recurve. And it's really two different types of knives. But, you see, you can get a longer, thinner point. So, realistically, these can probably be put in the same category as EDC knives. A little stubbier, smaller, kind of a more heavy-duty blade. And then your thinner, more like gentleman's folder type knife with your uh, sharper tip and everything like that. But anyways, moving right along. Um, MSRP on this one is uh, $64.95. It is made in the United States, but you know that's quite a high price for that. You don't pay that much for this thing. Um, maybe right at 50 bucks, something like that. Not 100%. Don't remember um, what it costs. It's been around for a while. This one has October 08 on the stamp down here for the date stamp and yep just that 1620 Charlie uh, number but yeah just a really a pretty good little uh, EDC blade 
and nice and fast and for the price um, this is a great little sized knife like I said going to church or doing something like that something you want that's cool and fast for in a small package uh, this is perfect I mean why not you know and uh, like I said pretty much comparable to your Kershaw leak handle size it does fit in your hand really nice and um, I'll show you your leak too your leak's a little bit longer you do have a little bit more purchase on it but this uh, has a little kind of a fatter back strap if you will and it's pretty nice so I really like it I gotta give him a give him a star up on this knife it's pretty good better than what I expected um, I did a little research you know before I did the review and better it's getting a better review than what I expected honestly I used it a couple of times and stuff like that just so I could talk from experience and it, it did better than what I expected realistically I don't like smaller knives usually but this one this one's doing pretty good so Anyways, this is Mr. Ram Pro. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, mob what you got. Thanks a lot, guys.